Hello, in this video we are going to discuss some concepts relating to financial instrument. So first of all, let's discuss, let's look into what is this IFRS 9 and what is this IAS 39. So I told you in the previous class that in the year 2005 this IAS 39 was came into existence. Later in the year 2008 this IAS 39 as it was very difficult to be followed to be understood uh, by the investors it was replaced by IFRS 9 in the year 2008 with some simplicity with some simple definitions of the concept. Now this IAS, IAS 39 and IFRS 9 has same concepts but it has changed with some simplicity. So the difference is not that major. So IFRS 9 it also deals with the classification of financial instrument. IS 39 it also deals with the classification of the financial instrument. So same here recognition of financial instrument, measurement of financial instrument, de-recognition of financial instruments. But in the IS 39 there was two more concepts that is impairment of the asset and hedge accounting. So these concepts we will discuss in the further videos. So let's take the first point that is classification of the financial instruments. So here the classification is two. One is financial assets and financial liability. So the financial instrument is classified into two types. One is financial asset and financial liability. So let's take the first point that is classification of the financial asset. Sorry, recognition of the financial asset. So here, financial asset. So financial asset recognition or identification of financial asset. How we should recognize the financial asset in our books of accounts? In what ways we can recognize our book uh, financial assets? So we can recognize or we can identify or we can classify our financial assets into four types. One is financial asset at fair value. Financial asset at fair value. Next is held to maturity financial investment. Third is loans and receivables. And fourth is available for sale. So let's take one by one and look what is in this so first point here is financial asset at fair value through profit or loss so we know financial asset we know profit we know loss now here the one terminology we should know is fair value so what is this fair value let's have a look so this is fair value what is fair value so simply it is the estimated price estimated price at which an asset can be sold or a liability settled in an orderly transaction to a third party so see i see here one example you have one lakh worth of financial asset so whatever the financial asset you have till today in today's date you are estimating that if i sold this in the further coming days in and around i will get one lakh rupees it means you are fixing the face value it, you are fixing the fair value of your asset it is an estimated value you are just estimating whatever you will get after selling that financial asset it is the actual value that is the actual value you will get but whatever the estimation done by the investor or the estimation done by the owner or the holder of the asset that is called as the fair value next in case of liability so in case of liability for example there are two person x and y so Sorry, there are three person. So Y, Z, X, Y, Z. So here Y has to pay 1 lakh rupees to Z. 
so y has to pay 1 lakh rupees to z and y has become insolvent he is not paying the amount to z now z what he will do so he will take the help of x so x here x here is acting as a third party so he is he is a person to do um what we we used to tell is uh, he is to convince y to pay the amount to z so that is what here he is settling he is involving uh, for the settlement of that amount so whatever the amount he is estimating that y will pay to z that is also a fair value till date so fair value means the estimated price at which the asset or the liability can be settled or it can be sold so here now go back to the point that is financial asset at fair value through profit or loss so these are the asset either held for trading so first classification in this classification the type of assets will always be for selling or it will always be for trading upon recognizing the fair value designated by the entity so as we studied as we saw in the in this slide that is the fair value estimated value at which asset can be sold so first classificationally fair, fair uh, financial asset at fair value andre entity organization athava company athra yav yav financial assets ide they have kept it for sale sale madake enen financial assets avu separate agi ittkonidare and they have recognized some face value or fair value that is what the first classification na ee company company nalli ee financial assets na navu sale maadbeku anta yav or classify maadkondidare separate agi ittidare that is the first classification that is financial asset at fair value next is held to maturity financial instruments sorry investments so here the word itself is telling held to maturity so till the maturity till the completion of the maturity you are holding that financial investment so these are the non derivative financial asset with fixed or determinable payments now here what is non derivative what is derivative derivative it is an uh, asset it is an underlying asset who derives value from some other asset so it is an contract which derives value from the some other underlying asset for example the prices of the curd is depends upon the prices of the milk so if the price of the milk is increasing simultaneously the price of the curd is will also be increased so here whatever the asset investment the company has hold that is non derivative that that is that value is not depending upon any another asset so it means it is in complete independent it is independent for the changes of the value it is not depending upon an another asset so whatever the investment whatever the financial fixed investment the company is having to earn the profits in the coming years that is the financial asset that is held to maturity a maturity vargu or hold maartare adarinda bartha a fixed determinable income inda avaru profit tagontare so that is held to maturity they are not liable to sell them. they are not in objective of selling it they are mean to hold it till the maturity and earn the interest or whatever the profit they have aimed to so that is the second one next is loans and receivables so financial assets loans and receivables means so these are the these are also non derivative financial asset with some fixed or determinable payments and one more point these are not quoted in the active market other than those the entity held so it means these these loans and receivables are not traded in the market it is traded 
in the entity only in with one within the entity and or with the objective of the entity it is not traded in like stock market it is not traded in any another securities market it is only traded by the entity wherever it is wherever they want or sale in near future or other those held for maturity so here means loans and receivables loans and receivables the entity is aiming to get in the near future so some loans they have given to others that is not traded in the market they have given individually to the others and they are aiming to receive that in the near future or they are aiming to give the loans to the individual in the coming future so that is loans and receivables they are aiming to give the loans to others and they are aiming to uh, expect the returns from the uh, borrowers that is the loans and the receivables the fourth one is available for sale financial asset so these are completely the uh, separate classification which is only for selling in the first row also we saw it is for sale but here they have they have fixed the fair value but here in the last classification they are they will not fix any kind of the fair value all the assets which they are kept it is meant for sale whatever the amount they will get that is the actual amount so these are the classification of the financial assets or we can say that it is the recognition of the financial assets so financial assets can be classified uh, uh, recognition can be classified into four types we can recognize the financial assets in four types one is financial asset at the fair value next is held to maturity third is loans and receivables and fourth is available for sale Okay, this is all about this concept. In the coming video, we will discuss about the measurement of the financial assets. So, in this video, we have discussed about the recognition. In the coming video, we will discuss how to measure this financial asset. If you have any doubt, you can ask me in the comments below or in your WhatsApp group. Thank you.